What is going on guys? It's Clutch here today. I know I haven't made a video in a while, um, but today is a very, very important video. Um, so basically the topic of the discussion today is controller players, how they performed in the World Cup, how and in future events, how are they going to perform? Are we going to see less of controller players? Are we going to see more of controller players? Now, I want it to be known, there was only a few controller players that even qualified for New York. I think it was around five or so. There was Aiden, Issa, Letshi, um, there was Astonish, and there was Wolfies, and I think that's it. Now, honestly, there was only one controller player that performed well, like extremely, extremely well, and that was Wolfies. Um, Wolfies um, performed really, really well in duos, right? Um, so let's go look at the leaderboard really quick. Um, so first we're actually going to start with the duo leaderboard like I said so let's go click event details um, session leaderboard really quick okay so as you can see Wolfie's right here performed really really well 47 points I think he took home like uh, over a million dollars for sure so okay Nifrex and Aqua are first place um, and let's see also cease and elevate also uh, keyboard and mouse players are in third place, right? Okay, so now let's go over and let's look at the solos events, right? Let's go look. Okay, now, so Aqua literally won the duos event, right? Let's see how Aqua placed in solos. Okay, so Aqua placed 94th in solos, but first in duos. Okay, so like I said, Aqua is a keyboard and mouse player. And the reason I show you guys this, that Aqua placing really well in duos, but not really well in solos, is because I think it's really, really... A lot easier to place well in duos um, if you have good teamwork so Wolfie's not taking not discrediting anything from Wolfie's he came in second place in duos right he came second place in duos um, as a controller player he did have a keyboard and mouse player as his teammate I also want to look at um, so cease and elevate came in third right let's see where cease placed in solos Cease placed 60th in solos. Once again, for coming in third in duos to placing 60th in solos, that's a bit of, dis of a discrepancy there. Same with um, Aqua, as I said. Now, Wolfies was the only controller player in the entire event, and it was duos event that placed well at all. Like, like really, really well, right? After that, our next controller player that placed the best is Letshi at 32nd place. Now you might argue 30 second place isn't bad, right? But there's 31 other players that play on keyboard and mouse that are have a better placement than him. And not to mention 30 second place isn't enough to uh, have more money or to get more of a prize. So I think to get above 50 grand, I think everybody below 20th place, I'm pretty sure, got 50 grand. So there was no controller player in solos that took home more than 50 grand, which is still a lot of money. But um, in terms of making more than 50 grand, there was not a single other controller player. Now, the point I'm trying to make here um, is that competing on controller is about to become almost non-existent because, as you can see, let she 30 seconds. Let's see where Issa placed. Issa 37th. Um, unknown army qualified twice not just once unknown army was a double qualifier double qualifier i think he placed 69th and astonish also a controller player placed 87th now i think the fact that only like five controller players even made it to the world cup and the other 173 players were keyboard and mouse players says a lot about how hard it is to compete on a controller and the reason I say 173, there was only 178 total players um, because there was a lot of double qualifiers, just to clear that up. And 0% of the controller players made more than 50 grand in this event. There was no controller player, I mean, uh, in solos. In duos, there was Wolfies. He made like millions of dollars or a million plus dollars. Um, but in terms of solos, there wasn't really um, a player that placed um, too, like insanely, insanely, insanely well. And I just think that goes to show how hard it is to compete on controller. Now, I really want to talk about, let's go back to full screen really quick. I really want to talk about the advantage, the disadvantages of playing on controller and why I think we're going to see a lot of controller players switching to keyboard and mouse. Players like Innocence, who's already really good at keyboard and mouse. Players like um, Assault, maybe Aiden. 
I'm not sure if Assault will switch, but maybe Aiden. Um, maybe even Issa. I've seen Issa on Twitter talking about switching to keyboard and mouse. So a lot of people that play keyboard and mouse don't understand this, but FPS and aim assist are directly related. So when you're playing competitive Fortnite at the highest level, and this is at the highest level right here, this leaderboard that I showed you, when you have FPS drops, FPS and aim assist are directly correlated. So when you're playing 80 player end games or 50 player end games, whatever, um, 50 player last zone was a lot of these games. Your FPS is significantly decreased, which means your aim assist is significantly decreased. And when your FPS is a lot lower than normal, your aim assist is different, which is going to make not only does it make not only is there less aim assist, but since your aim assist is different, you're going to dra you're going to aim a little bit differently. Your your crosshair is going to line up a little bit differently. It's, you're going to be all over the place because you're you're used to having to move your right stick a certain amount um, when aiming. And if when that's different because the aim assist is different, your aim gets screwed up. So in these top tier lobbies, your aim assist feels different. You're not your aim feels off. You're not as and when your aim is off, you're you're not as confident, right? So in terms of aim assist, another huge huge thing. Um, that people don't really realize is that most of the time in these um, stacked end games, right? You're using your shotgun, right? You're not L2 spamming anybody. Not only is L2 spamming less effective, like I said, because you're getting the decreased frames. You're using your shotgun in most of these fights. So you're in box fighting. You're not really able to L2 spam. Shotgun aiming, there's no L2 spam at all. And most of these fights up close in, in a box you see these players using their shotgun. And shotgun fights for controllers, and this is very known, you're at a huge disadvantage um, in a shotgun fight versus a keyboard and mouse player in the same box. And the reason this is, is because, let's say you're playing on 7-7 seven, seven sensitivity on controller. That's extremely, extremely slow compared to what a keyboard and mouse player can do. So a keyboard and mouse player can basically flick or um, move their hand very very fast uh, across the desktop service across the surface and they'll just be able to snap on you basically they can turn on you faster than you can turn on them and that's not that's a huge disadvantage for a controller so that's a lot that's another thing um, keyboard and mouse players don't really realize they have a huge advantage um, because they can basically make their sensitivity as fast as they want it by just moving their arm faster whereas if I'm playing on a 7 sensitivity on a controller my aim my, the, how fast I move is ex is smooth it's um, you can't speed up or slow down really or you can't speed up how fast you move so you at, at 7 7 sensitivity you're at a max speed right and you can't go any faster than that whereas if you're playing on 400 800 dpi um, all you have to do to go to go faster is m just slide your hand faster across the desk. This is that is the biggest thing that is besides aim assist. That is the biggest thing that people don't realize about playing on controller. I think is that we're at a huge disadvantage in these close quarter shotgun fights. Um, and I don't understand why people don't realize that. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why controller players are struggling in these events, right? Say they're in a 1v1 or a 2v1, they're not gonna be able to track you as fast as, as the keyboard player is gonna be able to track you. The keyboard player is tracking the controller player way faster. They're gonna get their shot off first, most of the time. Um, and that's, that's just how it is. So. I think the World Cup has really, really, is really, really, you're going to see a lot of players switching over to keyboard and mouse just because of how mechanically um, much better it is. I think there's a skill gap on controller. Um, yeah, you can always improve your building. Um, you can always improve your editing on controller. It's really, really hard to improve your aim when your FPS is always all over the place and aim assist feels extremely different all the time. Um, your aim is not always going to feel the same on each day. It's going to feel different, honestly. Um, I played on controller for a year and a half now, two years. I I play the game a lot, um, as you guys know. And controller, it's just very hard to keep up with these mouse and keyboard players. And honestly, mouse and keyboard has things like scroll wheel reset, double edit binds. Uh, there's less input delay on the keyboard and mouse, 100% the case. Um, so yeah, there's just there, there's such a disadvantage to playing on controller that, um, and I think that's another reason um, Epic Games did the Xbox Cup is because they know this, they know 
uh, how much of a disadvantage we're at. Even with things like building sensitivity, editing sensitivity, L2 spam, those things don't matter, right? They don't matter. Because basically you have building and editing sensitivity already when you're using a, a mouse, right? You just move your hand um, faster across the desk, like I've said many times in this video. Um, so building sensitivity, and people think those are huge advantages for controller. At the end of the day, keyboard and mouse already has all of this, right? The only thing keyboard and mouse doesn't have is aim assist, but they don't need it because they're aiming with their entire arm. And as opposed to two little thumbsticks, right? Look at this, look at this, look at these little thumbsticks on my controller, my Elite controller, right? I look at the amount of space this thumbstick moves left to right. It's like an inch. It's like an inch, right? So I have an inch to make very precise movements on a controller. And that's why aim assist is needed. And aim assist still doesn't, it doesn't matter. Five players, five players made it to worlds. Five out of 173. And only one of those plays, played extremely, extremely well. The other player, and that wasn't even in solos. And like I said, not taking anything away from Wolfies, but that wasn't even in solos, right? And like I said, Knife Rocks, who placed first in duos, placed 94th in solo. So duos is obviously a little bit different, which is why I really want to focus on solos in this video. 32nd, one of the best controller players in the world, Letshi and Issa, are struggling against keyboard and mouse players. 32nd and 37th, right? The best in the world. And that's what they're placing. Now, that's obviously 32nd and 37th is still impressive. But like I said, there's 31 other players that are all keyboard and mouse that are above him, right? So, I don't know. I don't. I think we're gonna see less and less controller players wanting to compete or, or not even wanting to compete, just switching to keyboard and mouse. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I hope you watched this whole video because this video is very interesting. Um, I, ex I expect other people to make videos like this, right? Like I said, I'm, I'm not trying to bash any controller players in this video. I'm a controller player. So don't get that, don't dislike this video because you think that. I love playing controller. Um, I just think it's very hard to compete on controller. Not trying to disrespect Wolfies, Issa, or Lechi. They're freaking amazing players. I look up to them. Um, I look up to Aiden too, who also didn't play that well, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, so don't, don't get that message because I, I love them. I look up to them. Let me know your thoughts down below. I want a healthy discussion down below in the comments, guys. Because I'm really passionate about this. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And I'm um, out. See you.